So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to pick good stocks that are trending correctly and have growth ahead of them. First off, volume is a big indicator of markets getting behind a stock or getting behind or not behind the stock. Meaning if you see high volume in a stock, uh, and the volume is going up day or after day, or there's a big interest in it, and volume is jumping and going higher, so that most likely that position is going to go higher in the long run. Volume is really a key to making a great trade. If you have no volume, you have no interest, you have no way to push that stock higher. You aren't going to make that stock move higher unless you've got billions of dollars to push stocks higher. But... The easiest thing to do is identify companies that have increasing volume over the last period of time. I'm more of a buy a position and be in it for over three weeks. A lot of people are in positions where they're buying them and they're in them for less than three weeks. And less than three weeks is a trade and anything over three weeks is a trend. And I'm looking for stocks that are trending. I don't want to day trade, it wears me out. I'm, it's, it takes a whole lot and it's just bing bang and I'm just, I, it's just not my style. But for you, this may be the thing. The one thing that I'm looking for is a trend. Now, if you're a trader and you're trading for a, a position on a less than three week basis, well then you're looking for three periods uh, or longer in a trend. So if you're seeing three days of a trend going higher and you see uh, some pullback on that fourth or fifth day and it, it holds support, chances are it's gonna continue to trend higher. If there's volume behind it, you're gonna see a push higher in that position. If you're trading on an intermediate term, so three weeks to three months or six months and beyond, then you're looking for stocks that are trending higher. You want to see volume increasing, you want to see participation by the market, and you want to see higher lows and higher highs week after week after week. For me, I'm looking for that trend. If I find a trend that is supported by a eight day or eight week moving average, then I have that a support level that when the stock comes down or comes down and supports off that support level, I buy a little bit more and it moves higher. So I'm dollar cost averaging in until the stock has basically run its course or I've hit my mark on how much I want to make in that position. I think it's really important to identify how much are you trying to make, especially if you're day trading or you're a less than three week trader. So identify how much you want to make. I did a video recently called Failed, and it was an explanation of a failure in holding a position way too long. I overextended my stay, I exceeded my overall what I wanted to get in a return in that position, it, and I ended up working against me. So when you, if you're day trading or short-term trading, have a point where you go, you know what, I've made what I wanna make on this, I'm getting out or I'm downsizing my position and taking my profits. Now I work with risk ranges. I have a formula that I've created. I've mentioned it a couple of times in other videos, but I've tweaked it over the uh, years or so. And I use a formula where I buy my positions on the low side of my risk range and I trim my positions on the top side of that risk range. Now, since I'm more of a longer intermediate term trader, so three months or six months kind of period of time, I'm looking for those positions to go up and then reduce my position, not totally get out of it, but reduce my position because I know it's gonna come back down to a uh, bottom of the risk range, and then I buy more. So I basically buy, sell a little bit, buy again, sell a little bit, buy again, sell a little bit. For me, that works. If you are more of that less than three week trader, you're looking for big pops, big moves in the position. So where do you find stocks? 
Well, there's this great website that is free. You have to hand, you have to endure the multiples of advertisements that pop up, but it's called FinZid. It's pretty good on creating a list of companies that meet certain criteria. So, with in FinZid, I go to the screener uh, tab. I then go look for companies that fit my criteria for the intermediate term. Now, if I'm looking for less than three week kind of period of time, I'm looking for a certain different criteria. So to give you an example on the less than three week criteria, number one thing I'm looking for is an increase in volume. So I'll look for stocks that are over a certain amount of volume on a day-to-day -day basis. Second thing I look for are companies that are below their 52 week high. So I look anywhere between 50 to 70% below their 52 week high who have an increasing amount of volume and increasing more interest by the market in that position. Now, once I've identified these companies, I take their symbols and I sort them uh, by the highest level of volume and so the more volume on uh, at the top and less volume at the bottom. I'm going for really the high volume positions because those are the ones that people are paying attention to. Now, once I identify some companies, maybe I've identified five or six or 10 or a whole bunch of them, and they meet my criteria from the standpoint of price point, I want to be in a certain price range because I don't want to be buying $3,000 or $4,000 stocks because I can't buy as many but more of stocks that are below a certain price point. You need to determine what that is for you. I, once I determine who those companies are, I then go do a little fundamental research on them. I want to find out who they are, what they do, um, how do they do it, are they a leader in their industry, why are they getting so much attention, why is there so much volume behind this stock at this point in time. Once I have identified that, I then go to the charts and I look at where are they at. And if I'm looking from a three week or less period of time, I'm looking for a trend. I'm looking for, you know, where you've seen a trend, a breakout, and now I'm looking for that breakout to basically come back down and uh, find a buy point where I can come back into it and put my price point where I want to buy it at that point. Uh, point. This is where charting comes in and technical analysis and, and really getting an understanding of that is very important. I find it to be very helpful because a lot of the stocks that show up in these lists are high volume stocks. Well, they're breaking out. So we've I've missed it in a sense. And so chances are when I see a gap up, I know that gap eventually is going to be filled. So I sit back and wait. It may take three days, it may take five days. Typically the trend is three days up, two top on the two the fourth day, and the fifth day you see a sell back. And if it holds at that fifth day and on that sixth day you start to see a move back up and the volume starts to increase again, then that's a great point to enter that trade. In equities, I only allocate 6% of my overall capital. And the reason is, is because if a stock goes to zero in, in overnight trading or, or something like that, 6% isn't going to kill me. But if I had 20% in a position, it's going to hurt and it's going to take a long time to get back to my original capital amount. So I allocate into my positions. If I see a trade uh, position, I buy in initially and I go 2 or 3% into that position initially and I see it moving higher and it's find support and then starts moving higher again, I'll allocate up to another 3% or 6% total and then I'll let it ride. As I said earlier, I have a place where I want to hit, a finish line in a sense. Once I hit that finish line, then I start to take my profits. And maybe I just take it back down to 6%. So if my 6% position goes to 12% or 15 or 20 or whatever, I'll trim that profit off, bring it back down to 6%. And until the position retraces or starts to sell off, and then I get out of it. But on a trading standpoint, you got to take the emotions out of this. You have to have a price point for where you want to enter and you 
Don't get caught up in the hype and the excitement when you see a stock bust out. Chances are it's gonna bust out and then retrace at some point within the next five or six trading days. This is really critical because who hasn't bought at the top and then ended up selling at the bottom, right? This is where determining your risk range, where are your entry points and using technical analysis along with some quantitative models that uh, you uh, hopefully have developed or are developing. I would encourage you to get on YouTube and learn math and learn standard deviation and moving averages and how to bring all that stuff together. You'll be a, become a better investor overall. As an intermediate trader, once I see that trend get broken, I get out. So if I see a position uh, has been trending for over three weeks, it gets to three months, and all of a sudden you see that trend break below, I'm gonna exit. I've made my money, I'm gonna exit. I don't wanna lose what I've just gained, and neither do you. It's a hard one to swallow. So trends, volume, finding companies that are gonna do well in the economic cycle we're in, these are all different criteria that I use when it comes to investing. In the end, I don't want to lose money, neither do you. So have, creating a process around your investing, if it's short term or long term, whichever it is, but have a process and know when to say when.